Hi, Tim. I would like to explain one of the critical topic today. Functional testing. First question, what is functional testing? When we are in implementation project, once we gather the requirement, mapping the solutions with Oracle standard, we will finalize the functionalities and the setups. We will configure the environment instances like CRP1, CRP2, UAT. Once you configured as per the MC50 setup document, as a functional consultant, we require to do the testing the instance to confirm all functionalities are working as expected or not as per business process. So we have the like uh, concept called test scenario, test case while performing the functional testing. Test scenarios provided by client side AP head, GL head, AR head. What are the scenarios they are entering in the legacy system? We have to note down the test scenarios. Based on that, we need to build the test cases. Okay, test scenario is mainly to use the or verify the application functionality. Test scenario contains multiple test cases. It is high level description. Test case, nothing but it is set of actions to be executed, particular feature, functionality in your uh, module wise. Test cases include the test data, what to be entered, navigations, Precondition, post condition as per requirement, we will write a test cases manual. Example GL in EBS and Fusion, test scenario client conformed us before UAT. We will regularly create a general creation in the GL module. Then consider as a test scenario general creation. In Fusion EBS, how many test cases will use to create journals? Example, journal creation by manual, journal creation by a BDA template, journal creation by ADFDA template, journal creation by revaluation process, or recurring journals, import from subledgers, import from third party system. These are all test cases you have to write. You have to request the business user to test and confirm in the UAT instance. UAT nothing but user acceptance test. In AP, one example I taken, they communicated me, we will process the invoices or we will process the billing. Then you can create the test cases. Purchase order based invoice, two way matching, three way matching GRN based invoices, non PO based invoices like uh, telephone bills, electricity bills, advertisement bills, recurring based invoices, rent based invoices, self building invoices like pay and receipt, or you can use the FBDA, FBDA template based invoices or you can do the integration from third party system. While writing the test case, we have to prepare navigations as a spoon feeding model. Business users will be logging with their users in the UAT before go live, before implementation announcement. They will follow all test cases. They will enter in the system. They will execute it. If there are any errors, issues, we will consider as a defects and that defects you should be tracked. We have to fix in the environment. You should ask the user 
you should uh, request the same user retest and confirm once fix the solution. So let me open the test scripts. Here I mentioned ERP software R13, CRP2 environment, then a test script name, creating an invoice without purchase order, nothing but non-PO based invoice. So business user login with his user ID password. He will go to navigation, navigation, invoices, and he will go to task level. He will click the create invoice. We have to write the all information here. This is the way we can create the test cases scripts. We will hand over to the business users. Module wise, they will execute and they will write the test results here. They will write the whether it is passed or failed based on that uh, client decided to go for go live or not. Thank you.